not again, Lisa. Lisa, not again. Come back, Lisa. I love you. Please, Lisa, don't leave. He's just doing all of that, <laughs> which I'm saying. Lisa is with uh, another guy and she's getting her cheeks clapped by this guy, you know? So it's like, ugh. Can you just watch me off as I drive off, as I'm in my car and I can run over a guy? If something happens, I could still just run over a guy. He's not going to jump on the car and like, I'm trying to bite the car. I'm biting the car. No, get out of my car. Ah, ah. Like she has a Glock and she's like shooting like, ah, ah, ah. like, wouldn't that be a crazy thing? What's up guys? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are all doing good. In this video, we're going to break down the drizzle drizzle trend. So without further ado, guys, let's get straight into today's video. I, I was on this date. It was a disaster. It was so horrible. It was such a, it was such a loser. See her. She's hot. This man didn't know my last name, didn't know what company I worked for. He was already, at this point, he was already blocked on everything. Somehow he found the company that I worked for, mm. found my work email and decided to send me a novel. That's me. I'm the man. Oh God, I was texting her last night. I'm sorry, baby. I, I miss you. I need, I need one more chance, please. Let me take you out on another useless date so you can diss me again that is what i like i like it when you diss me please diss me please uh, i need my self-confidence to just explode <laughs> and let me tell you how we got to this point so we agreed on a place to go eat okay cool we get there um I'm dressed normal, okay. whatever. It was nice weather. He shows up in a whole suit, um, which I thought it was extremely odd. But nonetheless, um, I thought he had my reservation. Dressing nice gives me the ick. And he did not. So there was a huge line for this place. So he's like, okay, let's go to this other place. We end up at this Mexican restaurant. We sit down. We're having a great conversation at first. Then he proceeds to tell me... Um, we end up talking about, you know, like our dating history and all that. And he tells me how on one of his dates, this girl got up and um, I guess they were having dessert. That's what he said. We were having dessert and literally I turned to my right and she is gone. He's like, he just started bad mouthing her. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like something's missing. Like that doesn't add up, right? Girls don't leave on dates. Girls don't ghost guys. This is just something that men do. Yeah. Drizzle, drizzle. Reason to just literally run away. Little did I know. So I'm like, okay, whatever. We continue the conversation. I didn't dwell on that topic too much. But yeah, so he insists on telling me and making like racist jokes, talking about like Nazi this and like mm. Jewish people this and, like, all this <laughs> shit. Um, it's Yadov. He's one of the Yadov guys. He loves Kanye. That he like did to other dates that he thought was funny, but they didn't take it as such. Oh. And at this point, I'm already uncomfortable. So he's like, oh, you know, it looks like you're taking it well. And, it, and at that point, I'm like, oh, God, like, I hope he doesn't kill me. Um, so I'm just like literally just waiting for like us Dessert. to finish eating. And then the date gets there. Um, I'm like, okay, you know, um, I have to walk back to my car. Um, thank you for everything. He's like, no, like, let me walk with you. He's like, I'm actually heading the same way because I had parked my car a few blocks away. And I'm like, okay. Um, so we're walking together and he's like, hey, by the way, can you drop me off of my house? And I'm like, where do you live? And he goes, I live in the Gold Coast. And if you're not from Chicago, that's one of like, the neighborhoods in downtown so it's a really nice area it's an expensive area okay so he got brownie points because he lives over there and she's trying to figure out like okay i still like him because he lives at this really nice neighborhood and he seems like he's winning when it comes to the finance department so i'm a little i don't i'm a little confused that's probably what she's gonna say i'm a little confused because i'm still interested and i want to go to his apartment and kind of like see where he lives and how he lives. So we're walking and we see a movie theater. 
he's like, hey, can you, he's like, I really have to use the restroom. He's like, Do you, can, should we just go into this theater? And I'm like, okay, great. So we get in there and I'm using the restroom. And I guess I didn't let him know or something. He proceeds to blow me up. I'm talking like 10 calls in a matter of like, what me using the restroom for like five minutes. And he starts like texting me and all this shit and like alarming stuff. And I was like, oh no, no, no. I'm like, nope. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I, I think that it's best if you just find your own way back. So he proceeds. Oh, that's cringy. Texting a girl too many times. Once is enough. If she doesn't reply, let it be. Don't do not like double text, bro. Don't do that. Do not. <laughs> Listen, the reason why I say do not do certain things is because I have done it and it hasn't worked for me. So I'm like, <laughs> out of experience, baby, I miss you. I I'm, I'm the guy from the story. To still blow me up. And at this point, like the way that the restrooms were in the theater, it's like if I were to get out and he was gonna get out, like we would have seen each other. And I'm just there waiting and I'm just like, oh my God, like this, like he, I got, I really thought that this man was gonna pull up to the women's restroom and I'm just like, oh my God. So I timed it right. I get out of the restroom and I go inside a, like a, where one of the movies is playing. And I'm just like sitting there like this, like all slouched. Cause at this point, like everything that this man had told me by that point, I'm like, he's going to find me. So he's still calling me and I'm just like, so I only texted that. I only texted him that. You go on a date with a girl, you guys decide to go to the restroom and she's not answering after the restroom. I would not double text then again. I'll just find my way home. But I would understand maybe he's thinking like something happened to her. Like, I don't know. But it is a bit weird. I'm, I'm siding with her a little bit here. Yes. 100%. One time saying, hey, like, it's best if, you know, you just find, like, your own ride. Um, so, whatever. At this point, like, I'm already alarmed. So, I, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, there's only one exit. So, I finally see an employee. And I'm, he's like, hey, like, is everything okay? And I'm like, no. Like, I kind of tell him what's going on. And I'm like, hey, like, this is what he looks like. Is he still out there? And he's like, yeah, he's still out there. And I'm like, oh, my God, like, I don't know what to do. And he's like, hey, there's an employee um, entrance and exit. He's like, if you want, I can walk with you. I can take you down that path. And I'm like, oh, my God, you're such a saint. Thank you. But you don't need a man. So, so, so much. So he walks me out the back and... Um, I assumed that this guy was going to be in front of like the movie theater and where my car was parked. It was like, like you could see the theater and I'm like, this man is going to see me. And then I am so, so the employee, he was so, so sweet. He's like, I'm going to walk you. He's like, don't worry. He's like, I'll look around. He's like, let's just go straight for your car. I get in my car and my car is like super obvious because it has a bumper sticker that says real estate. And um, this guy, the, the employee, he's just like watching and looking out for me. And I get in my car and I'm like, can you just please like just watch me drive off? Because at this point, well, what I'm is it going to do? Is it a zombie trying to just a guy which is standing outside of a theater? <laughs> Imagine, bro, these stories, some of them are so, so sad. Honestly, guys, they're so sad because I'm like, imagine that. You're standing outside of the theater. And this has happened to this man probably so many times before. So right now he's just overwhelmed with emotions. He's just like, not again, Lisa, Lisa, not again. Come back, Lisa, I love you, please, Lisa, don't leave. And he's just doing all of that, <laughs> which I'm saying. Lisa is with uh, another guy. And she's getting her cheeks clapped by this guy, you know? So it's like, ugh, can you just watch me off as I drive off, as I'm in my car and I can run over a guy? If something happens, I could still just run over a guy. He's not going to jump on the car and like, I'm trying to bite the car. I'm biting the car. No, get out of my car. Ah! Like she has a Glock and she's like shooting like, ah! Like, wouldn't that be a crazy thing? Like, what is the worst date you've ever been on? Well, I was on this date with this guy and he was like, he didn't want to pay for the meal. 
well, I was on this zombie date with this guy, and he jumped on my car, and he was like, Loki, I think a lot of girls will go with the guy, with, a lot of girls will go for the guy which is jumping on the car. It's like, I kind of like his, his, his ambitious at least, I kind of like that about him, so it's like, they kind of like a little crazy, but uh, yeah, that's, that's crazy. Drizzle drizzle means I'm too broke to make it rain. Drizzle drizzle <laughs> means I already bought these $100,000 geodes, so I know I'm good. I need you to drizzle to step up to show me you're equal. Drizzle drizzle means I'm in my soft guy era. I'm taking my $9,000 Fujifilm mm. camera and traveling the world to do photography. Okay. And if you can't fund that, okay. tell me start my art gallery. Talk your and shit. And you're not a good person, okay. drizzle drizzle. Because what kind of girl who claims to be a woman doesn't love art enough to support his man as he starts an art gallery? Uh, drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle means shit. support me. This is one of my newest Airbnbs. Prove to me that you're wow. not broke and book this property for a week. Fly out to Dallas and show me that you're not a brokey Ooh. and that you are my equal, Drizzle. Bruh, I'm loving this drizzle, drizzle thing. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm loving it. We've gotten so much shit from women. Over the years, so much shit. I don't need a man. Men are trash. This and that. Just step away. Just say, okay, hey, I get it. Hey, women are smarter than men. You, you take care of all of this. Yes, if the roles were reversed and we were acting like feminine boys, they would just lose attraction for us. So I'm like, <laughs> it's very hypocritical of women to say all of these things, but they can't. They can't back it. I'm afraid that men are about to learn rule number one of capitalism. In order to negotiate, you have to bring value. And in order to strike, you have to be able to take something away from the person that you're trying to strike against. That is the meaning of a strike. It means withholding something until you get your needs or conditions met. That's a strike. Okay. So I just have one question, one question for all of y'all. What is that thing? Go ahead. What is that thing? What are you going to withhold from women in any meaningful way that is going to force us to meet your conditions and demands? What will it be? Go ahead. Shit. This one's a bitter one. I'm not even gonna lie. That one is a bitter one, bro. Something happened to her. It's crazy. So I had to make the tough decision with my nine weeks baby. <laughs> I had to break up with my wife uh, <laughs> after almost two years and a half in relationship. Don't get me wrong, my wife is amazing. She was supporting my dream. She was helping with the house. She was helping with the bill. Um, she was being a great mom, breastfeeding. Mm. But let me tell you what happened yesterday that changed everything. So yesterday she arrived in the office while I'm configuring the Porsche 911 Turbo S. She know it's a dream car. She know I wanted it for long. So she looked at me and she said, baby, you can do it. I'll support your dream. You're gonna get that car. Keep working hard and we'll, you'll order it. <laughs> The audacity of that woman, like, she doesn't know my value. Like, she oh should have never made the money bro. right away and <laughs> ordered the car for me on spot. As a woman that's supposed to be a provider and a supporter, why are you not sending me the money right away? Like, your money is my money and yeah. my money is my money. Yes, 100%. 100%. I understand, guys. I'm in my soft era. Things have to change. Mm. Like I'm the prize, drizzle, drizzle. <laughs> like things need to change. I can't. I can't. Bruh, the fact that women are pissed off. This is aggravating them right now. They hate this shit. I'm just being on. Like they hate it. If they see you, just living your life, just having a good. Like this. Is why Instagram is the best revenge, my guy. Don't be like super pissed off. Like if a girl ever breaks your heart, don't be pissed off. Don't scream. Don't shout. Just, just be a little sad. Go home. Maybe cry at home if you want. When no one can see you. Maybe your friends. You can cry in front of your friends. That's fine. You you work on yourself and then you just stop posting on Instagram. You're on vacation. You're living your best life. Bro. That irritates them so i'm saying like if you really want to get revenge if you really want to get revenge guys silent work and then post 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 on instagram be happy laugh <laughs> that shit bothers them accept that behavior anymore 
Mm. So that's a message to all the king out there. Mm. If she wanted to, she would. Yeah. You deserve to have your car paid for. <laughs> you deserve to have your dream car bought for you. Don't settle for less than yeah. you deserve. Yeah. So I'm seeing a lot of videos about the drizzle drizzle community in my <laughs> And honestly, I... It's like Nazis. The Nazis are back. Ah, we gotta stop them. We gotta stop the Nazis. Ah! I am so glad that men just like have stopped pretending i would much rather dusty men know their place and own the fact that they don't have the masculine characteristics to act but it's not even the masculine characteristics it's that these standards are so damn high it's almost like you go into this school and there are no grades and she the teacher's like yeah you just need to manifest the grades you're like, yeah, I can't read. I, I don't really know how to manifest grades. I really need like some like a report sheet or like so you can like say, OK, you got an A here. And if you get this A, you get this diploma. And then with this diploma, you can get a woman like there should be some some form of criteria when it comes to women. And it feels like they're changing them all of the time. So if you as a man cannot attract a woman it's because you, there's something wrong with you actually provide for a woman and be the leader of a family the best part about them owning drizzle drizzle is the fact that it's going to make dating for women a lot easier mm. because now men are not going to be hiding whether or not they're dusty mm. whether or not they're providers i've had so many girls that stay in relationships for years because the guy but that's not what it's about it's <sighs> Everything's supposed to be equal. Convinces them that they're a provider even when they're not providing. And they future project to these women and they're like, yes, when we're married and when we have kids, I'm gonna like buy you everything and you're gonna be a stay at home mom just for that to never happen. So now I'm really glad men are really, you know, standing up and being like, hey, I wanna be treated like a woman. Because now women like us that want a provider and that want to stay in our feminine energy know who not to date. Hmm. And just how there are women like us that would never touch a guy like that with a 10 foot pole. Surprisingly, there are women that want that. There are women that want to take. Listen, 100% and it's a joke. It's a joke. We're not even allowed to joke anymore as men. This is how bad it's getting. We're not even allowed to joke as men. And women are coming into it attacking this movement because this is this is fascism or whatever like what no it's men making jokes we're just making jokes like it says something about you as a person if you can't take a joke i joke around on the internet all of the time and sometimes you guys leave these harsh comments right and i just look at them and i laugh and i respond I'm not going to be like, oh, that guy said something about me. Some people can say you're the content which you just released is garbage. And I get that. Like if I'm sitting and talking shit about people on the Internet, of course, other people should be able to talk shit about me, not make up shit about me. That, those are two different things. But if they're talking shit, the is trash. I hate his content, bro. Like whatever. I don't. That doesn't affect me, but this affects her. It, you know, it really affects her because it's the way they look at it. It's like, oh, wait, they don't want to they don't want to be shitted on 100 percent of the time. And and just take it and and just make jokes about it. Like girls like this, they they get so offended in pure confidence. This is why I'm saying like a lot of these girls, guys. I know you guys text them and you on the Instagram pages and doing all of that. But I'm like, a lot of these girls don't even have enough self-confidence. They fake it. Like we as men have pure self-confidence because there's no, there's nothing fake here. I just got off the phone with someone I was seeing and she asked me how my day was going and I explained I was at the airport. And then she said, I'm glad you got there safe. And I said, yeah, I had to take an Uber. 
I had to block her. I mean, she was great and everything. She was emotionally intelligent, always paid for dinner, pretty much <laughs> catered to my every need. But if you hear I'm taking an Uber to the mm. airport and your first move is not to open up Venmo and send me money, <laughs> are you even a real woman? And then you find out I'm on a commercial flight and you don't immediately charter me a private oh jet. Oh my God. I know my worth drizzle drizzle. I'm in my soft guy Bruh, era. Do you know how much money I've spent on females? Like, even right now, I'm like, bro, I wish I could have just saved some of that. Like, I would be, maybe, like, I have to be honest, like, maybe, what, 100,000 Swedish crowns. What is that in American? Maybe, I've, of all the dates which I've had, all of that, everything together, maybe it's $10,000, which I've spent just on, like, dates and just taking women out and girlfriends. And, bro, it's too much. That is too much. That is... That is an investment in a company. I want to be pampered. And if you're broke, just say that. And I'm sure later she'll come around looking for some sugar, but this sugar don't mix without drizzle. I just got off the phone with- But, and I don't even understand like the previous girl, which was like super pissed off about this. Like what is wrong with us just making fun? Like just having a good time. Like what, I don't see any content creators like being bitter. Mostly these guys are just in a good mood. And she came with her like negative energy just because she wants to be a part of the conversation. Like, why don't you go to your feminist garbage shit and just like talk about that shit. Kings, this girl sends me a message, says, hey, handsome, how's your day? So I send her a message back. Not a good day. She's like, <laughs> oh, no, what's wrong? I'm like, I was day trading, took the long position in DJT, lost $25,000. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you make it back. I instantly hit her with a block. Mm. First of all, I'm in my soft guy era. I'm mm. not day trading to lose money. <laughs> if you find out that I lost $25,000 in the stock market, I better see you put that $25,000 back in my brokerage account. Drizzle, drizzle. Mm. If you can't put it in my brokerage account, sell me the money right now. Drizzle, drizzle. Second, I should not have had to tell you that I was having a bad day. You should be able to feel my energy, drizzle, drizzle. If I manifested you because I don't chase, I attract, you should know already how I'm feeling. <laughs> Wait, I just need to have a side conversation about this manifesting thing. Does that thing actually work? I've dated three girls which are manifestors. And I've been looking at them on Instagram and like, from, doesn't seem to be working. Like, I'm manifesting the life that I want. Like, you have to work for the life you want. You can't manifest. That's not how it works. The way that I grew up is like, you have to put in the time. You have to put in the work. And that's the only way that you can climb in life. Like, the, you can't manifest things. That's like me sitting and praying. God, please give me a big booty ass girl before you send me that text message. Drizzle, drizzle. Um. And strike three, don't even start with, hey, handsome, or any of that BS. <laughs> Do not start my day with a message without first sending me a cash app Ooh. notification that there's funds in my account. Yeah. If you wanted to, you would. If you want me in your life, you would. If you don't, someone else will. No more brokies in 2024. Mm. Our money is my money, and my money is my money. Drizzle, drizzle. A lot of y'all girls are clearly showing you have no sense of humor. Yeah. The joke is going right over your head. <laughs> the fact is that y'all have been saying the same ridiculous stuff online. And when you say it as a woman, you don't see nothing wrong with it. But hearing those same ridiculous statements <laughs> come out of a man's mouth, now all of a sudden you take him back and you offend it. Listen, it's an imbecile is an imbecile. <laughs> It's 2024, and I honestly don't understand whether or not you're a woman or a man, why anybody would not be living a soft life. <laughs> I don't know why anybody would be aspiring for a hard one. <laughs> like, make it make sense. It's called a partnership for a reason. Mm. Because two people are supposed to be coming together so that they can do for one another equally. You pour into their cup just like they pour into yours. But y'all turn this into a sales. Wifey, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a little wifey vibes there. That's I like that. I like the language. Selfish act of you trying to gain something from somebody else and benefit from somebody else. Ah, uh, stop being a pick me. You're such a pick me, Stacy. Meanwhile, not caring what. You're such a pick me, Vanessa. They get in return from you. 
And as long as you're going into a situation like that, you will always lose because you cannot use people like that. You Ooh. cannot go into a situation and only thinking about the ways that you can benefit from it and neglect the other person involved in it. At the end of the day, if the girls want to sprinkle, sprinkle, the fellas can drizzle, drizzle. I'm <laughs> pro everybody being in a soft life era because there's no reason why you should be living a hard life. I don't recommend that for anybody. <laughs> Stress is the number one killer. I don't recommend anybody to be out here intentionally living a hard life. I don't subscribe to anybody getting with sprinkle, a person sprinkle. who's going to make life hard on them. Right? You could do all bad by yourself. Why in the world would you enter into a relationship with somebody who's going to put you through a hard life? One hundred percent. I like that one. I like her. She's she's wifey. Mm. Like, let's be honest. Like, after three months, like she knows. Like, she knows. True. If we're not crazy and she actually likes us, she's going to pay our bills. She's going to buy my truck. She's going to get me some bling bling. You know, she's going to randomly buy me a trip to the Keys to where me and my guys can go hang out. I've just got to be honest. Like, if she's not doing these things. I'm out. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. All right, ladies. The men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. Mm. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay? At the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man. Facts. Those things are all bad. Put them away. Okay. They said no problem. They have no problem being in their soft guy era. <laughs> so I hope you're not concerned about who's going to be taking out the trash mm -hmm. because guys have decided you, princess, you get to take out the trash. Oh and while we're talking about royalty, I hope you're not wanting to be a passenger princess because these guys, they want that treatment too. Mm -hmm. Fair is fair, right? Anything you can do, they can do. All right. Well, They've decided to match your sass, <laughs> and now they're embracing it. So I hope that you get everything that you wanted because, <sighs> ladies, y'all have created some monsters, okay? Uh, so buckle up and enjoy the ride. I don't think it's ending anytime soon. A girl is the worst investment that you can make. She has to invest in you. Imagine if you build up your life, and then she comes, and she's like, I want to work for you. I want to be a part of your company. It's great. I will see. Maybe. We have a lot of applicants right now, but we'll see. That is the way to go with women right now. Don't be the guy which is like, oh, we, we need some people to, for our company. Please, can you come and work for us? No, don't do that. Just be happy. Let them post. Let them see you have a good time. Be happy. Then and only then will they flip.